<coughs> there is there's, there's sort of like an itch. There's things that have happened in, in these 30 days. You know, the president has moved so fast. He's traveled outside the country. He's, you know, said a lot of things that are very monumental. But for you, where you sit, 30 days in, um, where, 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 where is the state of the nation? I think the most important thing for me is that the president opened uh, parliament and he addressed parliament and he laid out his uh, policy framework which was uh, good in some areas and short in some areas. Some critical areas it was very very short and so we hope that uh, maybe the policy, the Kenya Kwanza policy framework will be better laid out through the budget so that when they talk of inclusion, I want to look at the budget and see that there has been fair, fair distribution of resources, not just uh, fresh lines saying we have got this and that. But his speech on average raised the right sounds. He made the right promises. But these are things we have had before. So there was nothing new under the sun. So for me, I'm just hopeful that maybe this time around, the words will be followed by action. Otherwise, we are still in the same rut because <coughs> nothing out of the blue or nothing new was contained in the president's uh, state of the uh, address, uh, address the, to parliament. And so I'm, more, I'm not very expecting much. Uh, for example, we talk of uh, developing this country. We talk of doing those things in agriculture. We are even talking of impressing GMOs. But we don't have a single word in the president's speech talking about research and development. So even when you talk of GMO, that's somebody's research and development. If your own scientists are not being to be involved in that, and I see a budget allocation because Kenya, Kenya's policy has always been that they will allocate one percent to research and development. The highest that Kenya has allocated was, I think, last year, which was uh, zero point six nine percent to research and development. And uh, it was also not very clearly distributed. So I expected that uh, if we really want to develop, we should begin imitating what the Chinese are doing, what the Asian Tigers have done, what the Europeans are doing. And you'll find that they put about 2 to 3% mm -hmm. of their GDP to research and development so that they can come up with new products, they can come up with new ideas. We cannot just be a consumer of other people's research and then hope that we shall be able to develop. We need homegrown solutions. And if there was going to be really a bottom-up economy, I would, I would expect a lot of research to go into creating, even if you are going to create a cottage industry in Kenya, for example, you have to upgrade uh, your Kali to a cottage industry where there can be weights and measures and standards. Right. You need a lot of research to be done to be able to do that. Okay. So the absence of research and development in the president's speech for me was a very low point. And the absence of corruption, fighting corruption, the theft of public assets, mm -hmm. was also for me a very low point in the president's uh, declared policy framework. But we give him the benefit of the doubt because it was also a very short speech compared to others. <laughs> Maybe he left out a lot of things that he intends to do.